There is no shortage of beautiful views through the lens of our Marquette Tower Cam. Brian Goddard is looking ahead to the holiday weekend. Brian, mm -hmm. what is the grilling forecast? Great. Good. Doesn't matter. <laughs> you can grill in the middle of the winter. I'm there. <laughs> but this weekend looks to be fantastic because of this big H. High pressure brings you nice weather. And with some cooler evening temperatures, the grill will help you warm up as well. Just to our south, what's less the left of Harvey has moved into Tennessee. It is bringing some heavy rains now from Memphis to Nashville, and it's moving into southern Illinois, into Kentucky as well. Flash flood warnings uh, from Nashville down to Memphis. Back here closer to home, we have advisories up north in the Northwoods in the UP. Frost advisory. None of that here. Don't worry not to cover your plants just yet, but you know what Labor Day coming. It won't be too much longer. Already in the lower 40s in the UP, upper 40s in the Northwoods, mid 50s, excuse me, lower 50s from Wausau to Green Bay. So the fans that are leaving Lambeau, a little on the cool side up there, but they were having fun in the stadium. Temperatures today were much cooler than yesterday. We had a high of 82 yesterday. Today, 69 degrees in Milwaukee, 66 in West Bend, and 70 in Watertown, almost 8 degrees below normal. Under that clear sky, uh, we're seeing temperatures already in the upper 50s in Tosa at 58 degrees. 59 in Greendale, it is 62, however, in Oak Creek, closer to the water. The reason we're cooling down so much, the drier air. Dew points in the 30s and 40s up north, 50s to the south. We will see a few 40s overnight tonight in the inland sections. Look at Beaver Dam at 49 in Green Lake, 48 in Madison, holding on to the lower 50s just a few miles away from the lakefront. Otherwise, it is going to be a rather cool night tonight. And the dry air, for those of you who aren't a fan of the humidity, sticks around tomorrow and Saturday. Inches up a little bit on Sunday, so very comfortable air. And then a little bit more humidity in here uh, by Monday that will help kick off a few late-day thunder showers. On the Goddard gauge, I'm going to give it a 7. If you are a true fan of fall, like Carol, I'm going to have to give it a top 10 weather day. But morning chill. Afternoon sunshine, highs in the upper 60s, about 10 degrees below normal, and that cool easterly breeze at 10 to 15. High pressure, though, is our friend, giving us a lot of sunshine for the next couple of days. It'll also keep the remnants of Harvey to our south. We'll watch a little bit of rain to start to develop late tomorrow into Minnesota, but that falls apart, and our next chance of rain does not get in here until late Monday. By then, most of your holiday weekend plans will have come to an end. Tomorrow afternoon, another cool one. Temperatures uh, in the mid to upper 60s with that easterly wind. For tonight, looking for a low of 57. Inland could drop into the upper 40s under the clear sky. And then tomorrow, plenty of sun, but not warming up too much. A high of 67 degrees. Gradual warm up for the weekend. Saturday looks beautiful. Sunshine in 73. For summer lovers, a couple of warm days and a little bit more humidity as well. 80 on Sunday. Labor Day itself, 83. This might go down as one of the nicer Labor Days in wow. a while. Uh, some thunder showers late in the day. And then on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, uh, summer is officially over. <laughs> Back into the 60s. I love this <laughs> smile. This is Harper Aww. Packer. Perfect for a Packers victory. Yeah, great name. Look at that, that smile. Is, that is. She's got a <laughs> coat on because tomorrow morning will be a little on the cool side, but I love that smile. That's Harper's beautiful. making a comeback. I love <laughs> that really? name. Yeah. And so are the Packers.